good form. Good form. So once a hey, once they start making it, they're just gonna blow right past you. You're like you're at the peak right now. They're just gonna they're right here learning their form technique, and then they're gonna go like this. Exposed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's let's build off of doing that. Um, how many of you guys were here when we did a triple to the inside last time? Okay. So if you're not able to make it right now, it's something that we probably will go to next just to do a few runs to see who can do it. You know, we'll try to do it with, with no breaks if you can. It, once you start hit, what? It's tight today. The inside? It's tight. Well, so it's going to be a little tougher. But, but I also remember how much better Tiger when we started working that. And those of you that were here when he got his outside foot off the rear brake, put a little pressure, that consistency came. Right, I wouldn't say it was any faster really when you got it. It was just every time he was hitting his marks where there was a little bit more inconsistency because he would hit that rear brake and it would change that bike too much. So I think Gabe, you were able to get it pretty good last time. Uh, in this turn right here, a lot of this turn has to do with the turn before it. The better you can get through that turn before this tabletop, the more you can push through that, that tabletop and carry a little bit more speed. If you don't have much speed in that right-hander before this table, you're going to get a lot more up and down, and then it's kind of going to take you a little longer to get to this right-hander as well. Okay, so let's go all the way to that left-hander, through the left-hander, jump on over here, and then cross over. quick look at this turn hey Ethan pay attention so right here what are you doing as you come over that that little bump I want you to think about that tiger what do you do right there um, off the rear like off the brakes off the gas and just like lift up so you don't hit the brakes at right as you're coming into that yeah so what do you think is going to happen in that bump it's gonna get bigger. Gets, a, gets a little deep right so you have something to get against before that right so keep your momentum going use your body let your bike kind of come to you so you can get back down on that that little bump it's not huge it's not a huge bump but you can see the more you guys want to break on it a little bit it just breaks that momentum because it's soft and then it's followed by what yeah right a little bit too aggressive you know because you need that power now where if if we didn't break that momentum then we could get through it a, a, a little quicker all right um so what I want you guys to do is, I want you guys all to drop your clutch, okay? So, yeah, yeah, drop, drop your clutch. So what I want you to think about is from that point right there as, as you come over that tabletop, if you need any brakes, brake just on that downside of the, the tabletop, but I don't think you do. I think you just can keep the bike moving, push through that tabletop and just keep the bike moving through the turn. You get in kind of in your head that I need to slow down because there is a turn, but we're not going that fast over that tabletop that I think we need need to really break and we can keep that momentum going if you are breaking visually I shouldn't be able to see it you know where I could see a lot of you right in that apex of the turn you know breaking a little too much Noah your rear brake locking up right there in the middle and then rah, right so you you were just building off of what Blake tried to blow it out you know you get a no on a 250 or 450 is going to be a bad day for the burns <laughs> oh Boss rider. No, you, boss no, you can't say boss rider. Because I just got the, the camera right there. It's going to be... Boss I wasn't looking at you, oh, so... Boss rider smash on the rear brake. <laughs> well, that wouldn't be uncommon either. I know, but still. <laughs> All right, so let's drop the clutch and really try to build with momentum through here in the beginning of the turn. All right?
Like, how'd you, how are you climbing over the rut no matter how far it pushes out? I feel like I'm not over the front. You think? You know, even Blake, you just climbed out of it, right? And it's way wider than it was. How much wider do you need it to go before you don't climb out of it anymore? Right? You just open it up more. But you think, like right now, where do you guys feel the bike is reacting the most? Up there? Okay. What are you doing right here, Sage, with your front brake? A little too, too much, right? That's why I want to keep, and that's why this isn't affecting you as much as some of the riders, because you're kind of slowing that momentum down. It's getting in that pocket. The riders that aren't hitting this, like, Landon, what'd you feel happen right here? What'd you feel happen right here that last run? Yeah, well, right here, what is happening in the motorcycle? It unloads, right? It's going to unload some, no matter what, especially trying to carry more speed. So initially, should we sit down right here? Where, well, who, raise your hand if that's what you're doing, right? So when that happens, when you sit down and you get under power, even though we're a little smoother because we're not using the clutch right now, it's, it's less aggressive. What's going to happen? That suspension is going to compress and then it's going to want to bounce off or it's going to want to push or tuck to the inside. So what is something that we could do that we sometimes work on? Yeah, transition a little later, right? So right here, you come over this, you know it's going to unload. You let it come to you, push that bike down while you're still standing so you're light on that motorcycle, you're under power, and then you're sitting so that initial transition over that bump is a little bit smoother right so let's have Peyton and Tiger go do it it's going to be about you were smoother right you're a lighter rider so you can get away with it right now as you grow you know then you know somebody like Landon well you made that mistake that last time right because you're putting a lot more weight and even Peyton that first one you still executed it decent it wasn't bad because that turn is so firm but if it wasn't then it would react a lot more and and the second one was smoother but on the transition what did you do with the power you went actually off for a split. Yeah, down. yeah. you're like, oh, as you're sitting, you went off where that transition, we want to s keep that bike building. And it could be just something that you're not comfortable with, right? Because you, you like to sit down a little bit more. So as you make changes, doesn't mean it's wrong. It's just you're not as comfortable with it. So to get more comfortable, you got to do it a little bit more, right? So everybody, what I want, who's, is everybody third? Are you third? You were second, weren't you? Second and then I was jump. Yeah, so go to third. Right? Were you second or third? Okay. Gabe was third. Third. What were you, Max? Third. Don't sneak in that clutch there, sneaky boy. Yeah, yeah and be okay with that. You're going to make the double, right? So don't feel like every time you don't hear a lot of noise, you have to grab the clutch and, and create a lot of noise, right? That's the biggest thing that we're getting out of this. Remember, I'm a believer in the clutch, right? We just have to find the balance, you know, and understand these bikes create power even mid lower RPM. So we don't have to have that bike screaming all the time. You know, 450s, 250s, the 125, you have to find that balance. It's a little tougher, but it can still be done. You don't need to be in, in um, second gear like you were, Noah. Are you third now? Yeah. Well, I'm, no, struggling. That's 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 I'm struggling to get through it. Cause it keeps bogging. Yeah. Hey, Tiger, will you get jump on his bike? It's a boggy, a boggy motorcycle, or if Noah's got to do what? Boss. Boss. <laughs> hey, I could be this Noah, that Noah, like, it gives me a variety, right? I could be calling Stevens out, Smearden out, Voss out, right? He's probably like, God, your setup is so horrible. It's pretty much the same. Yeah, we're calling so, Bob.
boggy? Oh my God, thing almost stalled. <laughs> Jesus, and he wasn't even going through it fast. What does that tell you, Noah? Voss, sorry, Voss. Uh oh, are you allowed to ride a factory machine? What do you think about that setup, Tiger? Yeah. He's in the same gear as, as Tiger. If you could do everything I told you not to do, that was right there. Noah, or Voss, everything I said not to do. Don't sit down before the bump. Don't use your clutch. What did you do that we talked about? I'll give you one thing you did right. No, you did hit the clutch. You were in third gear. That was the only thing you did. But you still made the bike bog. All right, let's go. And that's, hey, for you getting uncomfortable, you're really good at that, right? No, you're not, right? So for, for you, that's something that's good for you. Get a little uncomfortable, even with something simple like that, helps in, in other areas as well. And the biggest thing with taking away the brakes early and where we're at and standing up, it's not over about the overall speed, it's just making your body stay consistent with what is happening to the bike and not allow it to get away from you. Right? Would you say, Ethan, what would you say your percentage is of the bike getting away from you compared to it not getting away from you? Is it more getting away from you? Okay, right? And because you're moving, right? You're letting that head get a little bit off center, you know, and Sage, sometimes when you come over that first bump, when you get right here, that's where you want to, you would normally do what right there? counter it with a little bit of front brake and make it work and you would get through that turn perfectly fine you know but if you stayed centered on that bike that bike wouldn't want to climb and it would be that much easier to to carry that momentum right and it's okay that you like eat like Ethan uh, I'm a little bit more on getting away from the bike right you, and that's the whole idea of this is to feel those things right what am I doing wrong like Blake that last one you sat down super early so now it doesn't only have one bump has two bumps, right? So you're trying to go through a rut at good speed, sitting on the seat right here, it's gonna be impossible, you know, as with consistency. You'll get through it sometimes and make it work, but when you're on that seat and you're just bouncing up and down, it's, it's not going to work, right? So you've gotta find a way, and then yes, when you add in the brakes and you add in the clutch, it's still a balance, right? We can't use so much front brake or so much rear brake or so much clutch that we make it work, it works okay when we could keep that bike moving a little bit a little bit more. And same with Colin when you get, went to, to second gear. Yes, it'll work, but our ceiling is just low, right? When you get to third, it's just okay. Even if it's a little boggy, it's fine. Like that last one was good. Right? A, a little bit calm, a little bit boggy right there, but the bike is calm, 
right? The only way you're gonna be consistent in something like this that gets rougher and rougher is a calm bike, right? Especially as those ruts get deeper and bumpier, right? The more you sit, slam, the bike's gonna rebound and you're going to be grabbing the edge, whether it's uh, here, inside or outside. And that's like n smeared in. I don't wanna call you Noah, cause I could be. <laughs> when you get a little bit away from it at times, which you were, were pretty consistent with it, right? Uh, of staying, staying forward, you know, don't let it get away from you. Uh, you were doing it good and I would say, Gabe, you were probably one of the most consistent ones. You got really good quite a few times. I want you to look at it like it's a challenge to be able to make third work, you know? Not, uh, I'm, I'm better in second, like, yeah. I, I gotta figure this out. I'll bog 50 times, but maybe on that 51st time, I execute it, right? And I know that my entry speed and through the beginning of the turn was better when I, when I get that. Right now, second gear, it always has the power, right? So you're not really feeling like, okay, I got that one good, right? Where when you go to third, that's, that's kind of what you're looking for, all right? So same with you, Colin. Challenge yourself. It's a challenge. The worst that happens is it bogs and you roll this little double. Who cares? Circle back and do it again, right? All right, let's go. Even with sneaking in the old clutch. You're still sneaking in the clutch. No. Dude, my just a no. When I see that finger go like this, yeah. it, 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 and the bike goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, it's not a coincidence. Um, Peyton, go do it for us. All right, guys, tell me if he's really balanced, if he's with the bike, if he fights the bike, what do you see? That's like the opposite of what I'm doing. The opposite of what you're doing? Yeah. <laughs> hey, they said that was lucky. You couldn't do it two more times. He's been, he's been executing it pretty solid, but when you... Let's see how he, how he handles the pressure. Let's see if he can execute. The nerves almost got to him. Now he's like, I, I could. So that wasn't bad, but I almost messed up. So let's see how he does it this time. Not bad. All three were better than me. He had you on all three of them, Tiger? Maybe not. But consistency, right? The nerves got to you a little bit. The boy's calling you out or what? You still, it still wasn't bad, right? The, the last one kind of wanted to grab a little, but the biggest thing is, even though the bike was changing a little bit, what you were saying you were doing, Tiger, was what? Being reactive. Yeah, he didn't react, right? So it wasn't a mistake. He just, yeah, the bike wanted to get away from him a little bit. It's motocross. In these conditions, that's going to happen. Learning not to react and be calm is the, the hardest thing to do, right? And I would say on those three, you executed that, right? C could it be better? Yes, we're always looking for better, but that consistency in this turn is, is what you're really looking for, where he didn't take, take a hard left or a hard right off of that, that jump that his bike, was, he was really fighting that bike through the rut. And that's all we're, we were looking for in this. And it's okay, like Blake, or you guys that were struggling a little bit with, with that, realize, hey, I gotta get better at this. I gotta be less reactive. So ultimately, I'm gonna, are you gonna go faster when you figure that out? Yeah, you have no choice but to, right? So those are the little things that when you struggle with, know it's a struggle and know you've got to get better with it. That means don't go right back to second gear, start clutch popping because that's just going to make you react so much more and make it that much harder to stay with the bike, right? So as you get more balance and staying with the bike, you can add in the aggression at when, at, when it's needed, 
right? So that's everything, especially in this sport, it's finding the balance of when the aggression is needed, when it's not, momentum, you know, because the rider that can figure it out, uh, be well-rounded and adjust to the situations to make that bike be consistent is going to, to be better, you know, from starts to jumps to scrubs to ruts, right? It's all going to be important. All right, I know you guys are probably...